Um, I realised I filmed my glossy box video. I didn't even mention my hair extensions. These are clipping hair extensions. I will find out where I got them from and I'll link it below. I didn't think they were going to match my hair. Basically, I got them and they were much too light. And then I put the hair colour that I put on my hair, which was kind of ashy and it turned them nearly completely blue. And then I put like a light brown colour on them and they looked purple. I just left them off like on the side as a bad job. Um, I was doing my hair today. I thought my hair looks actually quite light. I'll go and check those extensions and they matched almost perfectly. You have to let me know what you think of the um, colour match, but it's kind of incredible. I don't know how this has happened. Uh, but this actually is where my hair hits, unless I've... Hopefully I haven't um, cropped it off so you can't see. Uh, but this is where my hair actually hits and then the extensions go two or three inches lower than that. But I think it's a pretty good match. Probably the best extension match I've ever had. So that's an absolute win because yesterday I nearly bought some extensions. So I had these unworn ones um, ready to be worn. So yes, I thought I should mention my extensions. They are clippings and... Um, they are dyed this colour, so I can't tell you what colour it is. Anyway, I never ever do a clothing haul. I am pretty sure I'm missing things because I went round frantically trying to pick up things that I bought recently um, to show you in a haul, and I really couldn't find anything. So I'm probably missing tons and tons of stuff, and this is what happens when you don't haul things, when you buy them and you hold them all together to haul all at once. Um, but I'll show you what I could find. I'll show you the clothing type things and accessories and stuff first of all, um, so I can get them out of the way. The first thing I have to mention, I got this yesterday, is this, which is a bag from Zara. This has actually been mentioned in a few videos that I've watched and in some blog posts. I actually didn't know this was as popular as it was, and I saw it in a blog post and thought, I have to have that. Went out to Meadow Hall and bought it, and loads of people said, oh, it's so-and-so hold this, you know, you've got to watch this, blah, blah, blah. I started watching loads of videos, and everyone seems to have this. The popular colour is beige, kind of grey colour, greyish, let's say, but I really needed a black bag. Um, I wanted to find a black leather bag, but I haven't found anything that I like, just nothing... I'm so specific and so particular about bag that I want. So this actually fits the bill perfectly and it was only $19.99. It is a special price item from Zara. It's one of their basics. Um, and do you know, for a non-leather bag, I think it's really good quality. It's got a little kind of catching eye fastening there and then it's just a big bag with some little pockets and what have you, as you would expect. But the thing I love about this is that you can have it on your shoulder and you don't have to close it and it doesn't look messy or anything it's not too structured yet when you've got stuff in it it will look structured and i couldn't wait to hold this so that i could actually put all my stuff in it and see what it looks like but so excited to wear that and um, clothing wise i've actually already worn these things um and if i've put an outfit of the day post up on my blog i'll link that below for you to see them because it's always rubbish showing clothes on a video uh, but the first thing is a pair of jeans <laughs> a pair of jeans from topshop I got them in a sale because I never ever purchase from Topshop, never, because it's so expensive. These are supposed to be around £40 and I think I got them for £25 and they are the Jamie jeans and they're high-waisted and ankle grazers. Now it seems like they're in the sale because for most people they just didn't fit quite right. For me they are perfect, which means that I will be going back to Topshop and even at full price I'm going to have to try some on to see if I can find some other shades um, and other colour options to see how great they are as well because the, the material is so soft and um, it's just the right red the only problem that i have um i think i'd worn them for a day when this happened does anyone else hike their or hike their jeans up by the belt loops because i do i can hold onto these and pull them up well i did that and one of them bust so i've got to sew that back on um but that's why they're still waiting on unwashed because i need to sew that back on before i wash them I'm a little bit worried that the hole might get bigger otherwise um but I absolutely love, love, love these. They're not on the sale anymore, they're not online, and I actually went in the store and they didn't have them either. Uh, so I don't know if there was any just limited stock or what, but um, I was a 30-30, and they just happened to have my size, so I couldn't resist. Um, so I bought those online, paid shipping, the week after, or it might have been the week before, I forget. Um, I can't forget which one I bought first. I bought this. Now I saw this, jumper, again in Topshop online, uh, but I saw this jumper around Christmas time, you may remember I hauled um, some Christmas presents that Lee bought me and it's because obviously I just had Milo and I was sick of wearing maternity clothes, none of the clothes that I had 
and in my wardrobe fit me yet so he said he would buy me some new clothes. I didn't want him to spend a fortune because I wasn't quite, you know, I didn't know how long I'd be wearing these clothes, I didn't know how quickly I would get into my old clothes. I'm still kind of not quite there, there's still clothes that don't fit me yet but I'm getting there and I think if I bought a lot of clothes in December it would have been a bit of a waste because it was only six weeks after I'd had him. Now I tried this jumper on, I love the colour, I loved the knit, um, the only problem is it's cropped. So you might not be able to tell but even the online, the reason it was on sale online was you couldn't tell that it was cropped because the arms go to the length of the jumper if you can see there. Um, so online it just looks like a jumper with the arms that went to the length of the jumper if you know what I mean and loads of people have commented you know it's, it's a cropped jumper it didn't mention in the description so that's why it was in sale online I don't think it will have gone in the sale in store uh, but I saw it they had I think they had a 10 I was gonna get a 12 but it's actually quite big so I'm glad I only got a 10 um, but the reason I didn't buy it in December oh, rambling the reason I didn't buy it in December was it hit just kind of at the wrong area because I had that kind of bulge um, and I've still not got a flat stomach, but I had that really awkward bulge around my tummy and it just would have made it look so much worse. So I was so devastated that it didn't fit me because I loved it. Just hit at an awkward angle for me, an awkward length. Um, so when I saw it again, I thought I have to have it. I'll see what it's like and I might send it back. But it was perfect, absolutely perfect. So what I really would like is some more high-waisted jeans to wear with some kind of... They're not cropped so much as they just hit at the waist, like a just below the waist, almost just at the hips. I couldn't wear a full-on cropped jumper yet. Um, maybe ever, I don't think I ever have been able to wear cropped. Um, but it just hits a, a, a flattering length now. So I'm interested in trying some more stuff like this. This is why I don't do clothing hauls, because I talk so much more about stuff like that. Okay, um, I'm gonna talk about some accessories that I bought. I have no idea if this is everything. Like I said, this is the thing that happens when you don't haul things straight away. First of all, I was looking for a clutch for a while and really again I got a black. Um, but I saw this, this was in the sale on H&M and I already had, um, what did I have, what did I have? I had like a gift card to use. So I used part of the gift card and I had 35% off so it was like practically free because it was £3 in the sale to begin with. I haven't even looked inside it yet. I wasn't. It was £3 that I paid in total. It was £7. Um, but it's just kind of like a clutch. I intend to wear this tonight because I'm going out. Um, because I haven't worn it yet, obviously, because it's still got the price on inside. But I really like it. It's unlike anything else that I've got. Um, a few more things that I got from H&M, because H&M is where I predominantly shop. Um, this, which I think was £4 in the sale, which is like a collar necklace. Like that kind of necklace. Which, again, I'm yet to wear. I buy so many necklaces and things like that and I just never ever wear them. Uh, this again is kind of like a choker necklace from H&M. This is the current season so it's not in the sale. You can probably still get it and it's covered in hair. Um, but what I like about this is you can wear it like that or you can twist it and wear it like that. And it's magnetic. The only problem is I think that it's supposed to be there's so much hair as well. I'm shedding so much hair you wouldn't believe. It's disgusting. Um, the only problem that I find, I think it's supposed to be worn like this and this is supposed to be worn at the back, however because it's so heavy it tends to wear like that or just off to the side so um, I have a problem with that. You'll have to let me know if you have this, how you wear it. Um, this I've worn a few times and a few people have asked me about it and it was from uh, New Look. It's kind of cheap feeling, it feels more Primark than New Look but it was only £3 um, and I forget how much. I think this was like more like 9 99 if I'm correct. But this is £3 and it's one of those things that I see and I really like and I generally don't buy it but on this particular occasion I did and I do really like that. This was another thing that I bought on a separate occasion because I had a 35% discount code that lasted a certain period of time, it wasn't like a one-off code uh, and I had a little bit more money to spend on my um, gift voucher so I bought this. I'd seen it a few times but it's 9 99 as you can see I am still yet to wear it and I've had it for about three weeks. Um, so. Mm, Maybe I'll wear this tonight instead, because I can't wear this in the silver clutch, can I? We'll see. But I really, really like it. Let's see if I can just... Can I... Do I know how to... No. Why do I buy things that I can't open? Oh! I may have just broken it. Okay, so I've just broken the bracelet that cost 9 99 What a waste of money. Look, it just came off. 
And I've still yet to know how you're supposed to open this. Oh, we pull that. So I probably won't wear this bracelet tonight now. But that was 9.99, it's nice in theory. Um, I think that might be it for accessories, I think. Um, now, I've got a couple of bits, and I did ask on Twitter if you wanted to see some stuff that I received as PR samples. I think that's all I've got left, all the PR samples that I received, apart from maybe one or two things. Um, and everyone said yes, no one said no. So I was kind of surprised because I thought you would only want to see the things that I've bought, but I'm only showing you the things that I'm actually planning to use myself, rather than just use them once and review the things that I got and thought, oh, I really like those, and I probably would have bought them myself. So I'm just going to show you those things. First of all, last thing that I bought myself um, is the Body Shop Beautifying Oil, which I love. Um, shea Butter, it's dry oil for body, face and hair. I bought this as a hair oil thinking, oh my god, I bought this for like three pounds or something ridiculous. It's supposed to be about ten, um, but it was an author and I talked about it on my blog, how you got it for cheap, but you can't do that anymore, so completely irrelevant. Um, but I bought this as a hair oil thinking, if this can overtake my macadamia oil, this is going to be so much cheaper. Can't wait to tell people that I use this instead of macadamia oil, but it's rubbish for that. Um, for those of you that use normal oils on your hair, you might absolutely love that, but I can't. The reason that I like macadamia oil the most is because it's more serum-like, it's more lightweight, and you can't really overload your hair with it. Whereas this, you really, really can. I put the tiniest bit on the ends of my hair when it was wet, and it was so greasy from root to tip, so I don't know if I had it on my hands and I got it in my roots or what happened, but it left my hair so greasy. So the only thing I've used this for so far is massage oil. Lee gave me um, a knee massage because I've still got a really bad knee um, from Zumba and um, like just the kind of my body oil and stuff. I don't, I still, I'm not at the point where I can put oil on my face. I'm not there yet, but as and when I feel like I can, I probably will try this one out. Um, I received today some goodies from Clarisil. I got these two. This one I used today. This is like a, a mask, a wash and a mask, and this is a vitamin something scrub. This really does not appeal to me. I haven't tried it out yet. But it kind of looks, just to look at it in the tube, I might be completely wrong, but just to look at it in the tube, it kind of looks like the scrubby bits are few and far between. I might have to try this. I'm going to get it everywhere right now. Yeah, it's not... It's not quite as scrubby as I like, I don't think. Um, but again, mm, this is stuff I'm definitely going to review. Um, not just stuff, because I receive things and I'll talk about it in my blog, but at the end of the day, it's not something that I necessarily would have bought myself. Um, but this stuff I'm really interested in. So I got those two and I got some wipes. Um, some E45 things. All the body lotions from the new range. Do, 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 do. Which are these. There is Silky Radiance Body Lotion, Touch Be Smooth and Nourish and Restore, which is all very interesting. What did I say in one of my last videos? I have this massive cupboard full of stuff that I've bought myself, but regardless, as soon as I said I want to empty that cupboard, I've never been sent more things than I've been sent since I said that. I swear. Um, I don't get sent a lot of stuff um, to review. You've got to think, this is completely off on a tangent, I'm sorry this video is going to be so long, but the reason I don't get sent a lot of things is because I am Miss Budget Beauty. So there's a lot of people that will be sent things from different brands, but a brand really will only approach me if it's within my demographic. So really it's got to be budget friendly because otherwise what's the point? There's no point in NARS sending me stuff or Urban Decay. Although I might buy it myself and talk about it, they're not really going to want to talk, they're not really going to want to send things to me when budget is my key demographic. So this is the reason that I don't get sent a lot of stuff. And the stuff that I do get sent is all budget products. Um, but that's good because that's just that's good because that's the just <laughs> that is good because that's the stuff I want to talk to you about. <sighs> it's about time that I just go and have a drink. I think at this point it's so light outside though. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't know that it's like seven o'clock at night, would you? Um, so those are forty five things I received. Oh, another thing from Clearasil. This I'm very excited about. How long have I been filming for? Oh, it's not that long. It's fine. Um, Perfector wash. I saw this whilst I was in America. Um, and I thought this was just an American thing, but I haven't had it out yet, and I don't really understand how it works. Where do you on and off? How does it work? Oh my god, how cool is that? It's got a little sensor. So you put your hand... This is so American. Having just been to America, everything is a sensor, so you put your hand next to something and something comes out. So you don't have to push anything. That's incredible. 
Um, so you put your hand somewhere and this little amount of face wash comes out. I don't generally cleanse my face in the morning. Um, and I thought when I received that, that's a really good idea because if I put that on the sink in the morning when I go to brush my teeth, I can just quickly wash my face and it's not going to be a huge thing out of my day to do that. So I'm quite excited to use that. That will definitely be reviewed um, in a video, let alone, that will obviously be vlogged about. And the last few bits I think that I have in front of me are from Soap and Glory. Now, you may remember me hauling the um, turban. Well, when I used the turban, I was absolutely in love with it. I used to put a conditioner on, I would wash my hair, uh, condition my hair and then leave it in the turban and I would leave the bath water in and shove my head in the bath and like wash it over the side after a couple of hours of leaving it in the turban and it's just the most lightweight comfortable thing to wear I don't care that it was £7.50 and um, when I first hauled it and then I realised how much I'd spent on it I was kind of in a shopping buzz and I needed to spend a certain amount of money to get this other thing for free and so it didn't really matter what I was buying because I was getting something for free anyway but then in hindsight £7.50 for a turban that you can make with a towel is quite expensive but I'm gonna say I would buy it again even though it was so expensive yes I might try the ones from cheaper places but I think I probably would go back and buy the Soap and Glory one again because I so love it. Now, with that in mind, within a week it broke. The button pinged off the back of it. Um, so I was pretty gutted because I had spent £7.50. And it was the day that I uploaded the haul video where everyone's going, Oh, you spent too much money on it. You've been completely conned. Um, you can buy them from Primark and the pound shop and all that. So I was pretty pissed off. And I took to my laptop whilst I was still in my towel, just out of the bath. And I was like, da -da 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 -da. this is just broken, blah, 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 blah. Um, and they came back to me within a day, which really, really quickly, and said that they would send me um, a replacement. They also said that they'd seen my video um, with the best and worst of Soap and Glory, and would I like to try anything else? Now, I said I really wanted to try the Fab Port Hot Cloth Cleanser, because every time I talk about anything to do with cleansers, you all say to me, have you tried the Soap and Glory Hot Cloth Cleanser? And I say no. And why do I say no? I'll tell you. Because they have never got it in boots. It's never online. It's never in store. It's always out of stock. And I even checked on the Soap and Glory website and it was out of stock there as well. So I said, is there any chance you could get me this? Because I'm dying to try it and it's always out of stock. And she said, yes, I can get that over to you. And I'll send you two other things as well. So I didn't know what these things were going to be. And they were these. The... Fab Pore Facial Peel, which several of you have actually told me to try as well. Surprisingly, it's not a peel face mask, as I thought it was going to be, but it's called Facial Peel. It smells quite nice. Um, and it's all kind of got little bits in it. So it's like a clay kind of mask, and um, as you, the little blue bits, as you put it onto your skin, they all kind of pop, so you get like blue streaks on your face. <laughs> and as you massage it in, it kind of all goes into each other. And um, it's like a pore minimising mask. I've already got one from Clinique and I'm yet to test them against each other, but I really like this. You know, so far so good. And I've just tried it kind of like um, as a pore, in the pore area that I get. So it's gonna last me forever if I only use it there and maybe on my chin. Um, but the Clinique one, I've actually really quite liked, so we'll see which one's better. Uh, and they also sent me this, which is the Youthful Rejuvenating Face Serum. That I was gonna try next. I was literally gonna buy this after my youth code ran out, so this is perfect. Um, and it's also perfect because I've told myself I'm not buying anything until that cupboard is at least half empty. So now, <laughs> I'm pretty set with what's been sent to me in the last two weeks. Um, although I need to now use more stuff before I can buy things. And you know, I enjoy buying things. I'm a bit of a shopaholic. Um, some of the things that they did send me and some of the things I got in the glossy box as well, um, that I just filmed, were perfectly timed to receive because it just puts me off on some things that I needed to get. The one thing that I am going to need to buy is an eye cream because that's about to run out. My skincare routine is now 100% soap and glory. If you'd like me to do an updated video on that, I will, but my skincare routines don't generally tend to be very popular. Um, so let me know if you do, but I don't know. Um, I am still yet to do, uh, and if I could only have one hair and skincare video, I will do that as well. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much everything that I've got. I hope I'm not missing anything out. I don't think I am. If you want me to tell you about stuff that I've received as PR samples, then I will. But I didn't really think anyone was really ever going to be that interested. I always vlog about it. But there are other bits that I receive. I never... I'm never as excited as I have been with the things I've received in the last couple of weeks. The Clarisil stuff. This... This was very exciting. She asked me about the E45. The PR woman emailed me and said, um, do you want us to receive the new E45 range? And I thought, yeah, that's that's a kind of like a budget brand. People would be interested to hear about that. And she said, oh, we'll also do the PR 
glow cell do you want to receive this I think, yeah that's fine i'm thinking i'd receive some kind of face washes whatever that is exciting stuff so i'm excited to review that for you i'm sorry it's been such a long video i'm sure i've only got half of you left um but thank you for sticking with me the ones that you did um and i will link any relevant posts below as normal and hopefully i'm going to be able to get a video up this is now saturday hopefully i'm going to get a video up for you tonight um and i want all of these this one as well up before tomorrow i'm gonna to have like a weekend video a thon um but if you've got any other request videos let me know i've got a big list still to get through but some are easier than others some re require less prep so if you've got any other tag videos or anything i love tag videos and i've got lots and lots of questions I asked a while ago for you to put in your questions um, for me to do like a big question tag. I'm quite excited to film that soon, so I'll probably film that tomorrow. But yes, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please go subscribe. Check out my other videos below and all my links as well. Bye!